name is Brian Fitzgerald. I'm the director of education and I'm 30 years old. Um, I was staying at I think Lakes of the Clouds maybe when they AMC facilities and you know, I always hear this low low grade rumble at all times as I was approaching the mountain and I got up to the top and uh, across all the boulders and you see the antennas in the distance and you get up there and uh, it was uh, bewildering to find all these buildings, people, motorcycles, people who didn't hike the mountain like myself. I was among that class of people who were uh, much smellier than the people who were just getting out of their cars and walking up a flight of stairs. Uh, and then what was probably most unfounding was having to wait in line to, to touch the summit sign. I didn't even want a photo. Um, uh, I did skip the line because I thought this was ridiculous. I just wanted to touch the sign and get out of there, so I did that. And so when I was trying to think of something that's special to do for Seek the Peak, I thought, well, why not hike Mount Washington twice in a day? I've never done that. And hiked up Boot Spur from Pinkham Notch to the summit, said hi to everyone, got a drink hiked down the Jewel Trail to the base where the cog is, and then hiked up the M. Music Ravine Trail to the summit, said hello again, grabbed a snack and some water, and then hiked down uh, the Tuckerman Ravine and, and Lionhead Trail. So, oh, I'm not sure if I'm ready to unveil my plans yet, yeah. but uh, someone, I think it was actually our own Chrissy Frazier who runs the event, uh, suggested, well, maybe you uh, hike between the observatory's two, two main buildings, which is the Weather Discovery Center in North Conway. Uh, and the summit. And I thought, oh, I wonder how far that is and how I might do that. And that's it, you know, it is coincidentally just about almost exactly marathon length. So <laughs> that would be interesting. But uh, I don't know if I'll do that. We'll see. <laughs>pretty busy on the mountain. We definitely understand that. Um, all the more reason to go hike something else or go hike Mount Washington in a different way on a different day. Um, I don't really have an excuse. I, I need to help out with the event so I have to do my hike on a different weekend and you know what? It works out really well. Go do your hike another time and you can come to the after party. You can come to the, the pre-party the Friday night before at the Weather Discovery Center. Um, there are all sorts of different ways that you can participate and seek the peak and Seek your own peak. So Seek the Peak is very much Seek Your Peak. Primarily, I mean, let's let's be real, this is a fundraiser to support the, the hard work that goes on at the observatory, to support the science that goes on the mountain, our educational programs, the research that's done. So however you want to participate in, in the event, we strongly encourage. In fact, we encourage people to get creative because that's what keeps it fun, that's what keeps it lively every year. But Seek the Peak's a, a really important fundraiser largely because there are all sorts of great programs that we run. There's a contract that we have with the National Weather Service for just the minimal amount of data that we produce that we're able to share out. Um, but there's so many things that we do here that that need that support that otherwise the the day-to-day -day operations here, the travel up and down the mountain, this you know really difficult place to get to year-round on the summit, uh, it takes a lot of support to make that happen and so it's not, a, it's not a traditional uh, work environment, it's not a traditional organization, so it, it needs a, a non-traditional sort of event to be able to support the work that we do. Come on out to Seek the Peak. It's July 18th through the 20th. I encourage you to register today. It's really easy online, seekthepeak.org. Uh, sign up, register, start fundraising. Uh, it'll be here before you know it, uh, and it'll be a great time. You won't regret it. Shooting me with words, but I will let them bruise.